Okay, once again, how do you turn on or off or turn off the appliances in your house? How about, for example, this electric car? Yes, Pia. Can I go to the bathroom? Okay, yes, you may. Thank you. Uh, how do you turn on or, or turn off your electric fan? Do you all have electric fan in your house? Okay, how do you turn it on or turn it off? Yes, Bianca? Bianca? Okay, thank you so much, Bianca. Uh, how about Enzo? How do you turn on or turn off your fan in your house? If you want to turn it off, press the button that it have a zero on each side. If you want to turn it on, press the button that it have one or two or three in each side. Okay, thank you so much. That's wonderful. How about Kai? When when you want to on the electric fan, you just need to press the number or you want to of it, you just press to zero. Okay, thank you so much. So, lahat kayo almost is depressed yung mga electric fans. Tama ba? Almost all of you? Pin, how about yours? What? Um, how do you turn on or off your electric fan in your house? You know, to turn on, you got to press the button. Pressing the button also. To turn it off, you got to, you got to press zero. Okay, thank you so much, Bing. Jesse, how about yours? That's, that's it. That stopped. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Bing. Jesse, yes. Um... When we're so hot, we can point it to one, two, or three, or four. So we we have wind or hanging. Okay, that's good. Yes, my teacher. Okay. Yes, the, the usual. The usual thing. Yes, sir. Can I go to the bathroom? Okay, yes, you may. Okay. Yes, Rocky. You. When you need to. On or off the aircon, you press the button that has a kill in the line. Okay, that's for the aircon. Thank you so much, Rafi. Yes, if we are. The way you turn on the, the electric fan, first you, you put on the wire and plug it, then, then you press the button. Oh, very good. Tama nga naman, no? before you press the button, you plug it muna to the electricity socket, okay? Yes, Harriet? When I turn off the air, my aircon in my house, I use the remote. Oh, that's good. You have a remote for your own fun. Okay, so that's for the aircon. And the electric fan. Some actually um to call this rotates the switch in order to turn on or turn off the electric fan. Parang internet yung pang on off niya. Oh, that's good. Okay. So how about your television? How do you turn it on and how do you turn it off? Yes, Ping. I I I usually turn it on up on the side of the TV because the because the remote is broken. It's right over. It's right. It's right over here. Oh, demonstration, pa. <laughs> okay, so it's on the side actually. Okay, you say walang remote. How about the others? Okay, how about that? How do you turn it on and off? I just plug it on and I put. And I on the remote and we can watch it too. Okay, plug it on. Turn it on by clicking something on the remote. And then same way on how to plug it up. Okay, how about Hilia? I just plug the TV and then on the remote. Okay, 
you see the remote, okay? You just turn it on, oh, there's a turn on button there. And so. If we are gonna turn on or off my aircon, then you just have to press your button on internet. The TV, get the remote, and then press net. Netflix for up, parang din sa aircon. Parang halang din sa aircon. Thank you so much, Enzo. How about Rocky? It's super easy when you need to on the ref refrigerator. You just need to pull it. Oh, that's good. Wala ba sa inyo yung may device command na mga ano? TV, nabawa, turn off. Bukas na yung TV. Turn off. Sasara din yung TV. <laughs> Pero magalang sa inyo. Wala pa. Oh. In the future, invent to si teacher na ganyan. Para talaga kung sasabihin na, TV, turn on. Yan. Bukas na yung TV. TV, turn off. Sasara din. <laughs> yes, B. When I turn on the TV, it says, aim X mode. Hmm, nagsasalita yung TV mo. <laughs> pwede mo ka usapin, pwede mo kwentuhan na. How about the refrigerator? Have you ever tried turning it on or turning it off? Ah, sige, Kyle. I on the refrigerator, I just put the... I on, turn it on when I suck it and I, and I put my stuff there. Okay, that's good. How about Enzo? I just get yung handle, tapos pull ko, tapos pwede ko na makuha. Ang gusto ko, or malagay ang gusto ko is lemon easy, lemon squeezy, madali lang. <laughs> Thank you so much. And so, okay, so that's how you turn it up. Turn on and turn off these appliances, which we see in our house. Yes, please. Can you raise your hand? No. Ah, okay, na pindot lang. So, today, what we're going to discuss is entitled Computer On and Computer Off. Okay, pag-usapan naman natin yan, paano pabuksan at patayin ang computer. Okay? So, our objectives are the following. First is to show the proper way of switching on the computer. And second, to show the proper way of switching the computer off. Okay? Are you now ready to learn about these things? I know somehow, some of you are already familiar with these things. But then, syempre, it will just be a sort of review for everyone. Na hindi pa marunong, magpatay at magbukas ng computer nila. Okay? Meron na ba dito sila na nagbukas ng computer nila? Sila na rin nagpatatay? Oh, very good. Okay? For some, dapat after this lesson na marunong na rin kayo magpatay at magbukas ng computer nila. Okay? So listen properly. Let's first discuss how do we switch on the computer. Okay? Kindly read. Can anyone read this? That's okay. Sophia. Our computers are usually connected to the electric electric outlet by means of a device called an automatic automatic voltage voltage regulator regulator or AVR switch on the AVR to bring power to your computer you need. Okay, does your computer have AVR or this one? The automatic voltage unit with your labor, I mean, do you have that? Okay, I think that everyone has this, especially those who are using laptop, okay, hindi naman kaya laptop na AVR. Pero yung mga naka-desktop, of course, we all have that. Okay? Sure. Yes. My Kui has have have that. I don't have that. I just I just I just turn on the on button. It's on it's it's above it's a it's action it's 
it's under the, the it's under the delete button. No, it's uh, at above at the delete button. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much. Yes, my lady. Okay. 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 Oh, next one. Can you read? Maybe read. Turn your computer process unit on the power which is usually located in front of the system unit. It is often the largest button that you see. Okay, thank you so much, Maverick. Okay. So do you see this power button in your CPU? Okay, so that's what you need to press in order to switch on the computer. Okay? I don't have a CPU. Ah, yung iba, wala CPU, syempre. And also, yung others, yung gumagamit ng laptop, di ba? Iba rin yung switch ng computer dyan. Okay? But there's something that you still need to press para mamukas yung laptop ninyo. And also yung iPad, yan yung deck. Okay? Uh, if nothing appears in your monitor after switching your CPU, find the power button of your monitor and switch it on. Kasi one of the possible reasons why your computer is not turning on is that your monitor is not yet switched on. So it is often located at the bottom part of your monitor. Kaya, you just need to search it right there. Yes, Rocky? I'm not using Windows. I'm using Linux. Okay. Okay. It's good that, um, yes, we have different uh, types of computers that we're using, but still, we undergo the same process in turning it on and turning it Yes, and so? Teacher, may I read the one that it says there? Later, later. May ano pa tayo magbasahin. Okay? Yes, Phil. I don't have a CPU or, or AVR. I'm using a laptop. That's good. Okay. Well, I have a laptop. Okay, but this is in case you will be using a desktop computer, okay? Okay, please read. Other turn on your yes, there on it and monitor your monitor will show a Black screen with words and numbers on it. This means that the system on it is starting up. Okay, so after turning on your system unit. And your monitor is also on only. Your monitor will show a black screen with words and numbers and X. And this would mean that the system units is started up. Usually, wala na tong black screen na to. At ano lumalabas, starting windows. Especially sa mga bago, sa mga bago windows na version nyo. Okay? So, can you read the next one? Harriet? A card. Screen with little images will appear then. We call this screen the desktop. The desktop can also have 
pictures or drawings as its background. We call this background the wallpaper. All right. So this is what is appearing. Kapag binubuksan natin yung computer, am I right? Unless pinalitan niyo yung wallpaper or yung background ng desktop natin. Siyempre, iba nila labas yung mga ganyan. But, of course, siyempre, you will still have these little images in your desktop wherein you will find your little um, all those little pictures which we call icons. Okay, yes? Sweeper. Yes, of course. Yes, Finn? It's win it's Windows 7. Look at the color look at the co colors closely. They look like a sun. Uh, yeah, this, they look like a sun. Okay. So again, these are what we call wallpapers. Okay, but you can buy them. Okay. Hindi lang yung window button yung pwede yung makita dyan. Pwede nyo siyang palita ng favorite cartoons nyo, favorite animes, favorite games, favorite um, characters, and also your family picture. You can make it also as your desktop background. Okay? So meron kayo lagi yung choices for that. Uh -uh. Okay? So this is what I'm talking about a while ago. The little image on the desktop are called icons. Okay? They are programs that are run by double the icons. So, para itong mga to ay tinatawag na yung shortcuts. Kasi usually, di ba, if we, we don't have icons in our desktop, it will be hard for us to find out what we're looking for. But then, because of these icons, it will be easier for us to access folders, um, applications in our computer. Okay? So, that's the use of our icons. They are shortcuts in our computer. Okay, here ba sa atin kung paano mag-switch on ng computer? Okay, nalaman ba yung mga um, ibig sabihin ng wallpaper? Tonton. Ng desktop, ng icons. Yes, come again, sorry, what's that? Okay, so now let's talk about how to switch up the computer. Okay. Okay. Kindly read pin. Pin. It seems like we have some trouble in it. I have to go. This read backwards. Now. Maho, please read. Hello, can you read it to Use Using a mouse, bring the mouse, mouse pointer over the start button and click the left mouse button. Click the power button and a small menu will appear. Bring the pointer over the shutdown button and click the left button again. Okay, so that's how we turn off the computer. We just bring the pointer, the mouse pointer, to the start button. And after clicking the start button, maga appear na kami dyan, yung power button. Okay? Ay, ito shutdown. Ay, may kita niya. And then after that, we just need to click the power button and bring the pointer over the shutdown button and then click again to shut it down. So it's as easy as that. Okay? So that's how we turn up the computer. Yes, Raki? Nothing. I'm not I thought they were listening to something. Okay? So for the older versions of the computer, you might be able to see these buttons. Ayan. I mean, older versions of Microsoft Office. Ayan. So, we will see those buttons such as hibernate, which means sleep, standby, turn off, or start. Okay? Sabi dito, 
when you don't want to turn off your computer, but you will have to use it for a long period of time, you will just click hibernate. So, we can the computer. Natin. Okay? And then, standby. Why ba sa yung sa standby? Rocky. When you don't want to turn off your computer, but you will not be using it for a short period of time. Okay, ito naman, short period. Again, pag hibernate, long period of time. Pag standby, short period of time. For example, buhaw ka lang ng kape, kitip na ka lang ng gatas, no? So, babalik ka kagad. So, standby mo lang. Para pag ginalaw mo yung mouse, babalik mo siya ulit. Okay? Uh, how about yung turn off? Pakibasa, pin? Completely turns off the computer. Okay, completely. Talagang patay yung computer kapag tinurn off natin. And the last one, how about you start, Harriet? When starts the computer, the computer turns off and then turns on again by itself. Okay, so wag ka magugulat kapag pinindot mo yung start. Tapos naman na yung computer mo, tapos na buhay ulit. Lumana ulit. It's all because that's the function of the respite button. See? Sabihin na, papatay niya sa rin niya. And then, he will also start by himself. Hindi makilang pinutin pa ulit yung start button para mag-start siya ulit. Okay? Because that's how respite works. Okay? Clear ba tayo sa mga buttons na yan? Okay. Pag lumabas siya sa quiz, alam dapat natin na kung anong functions niya. Right? Time TV. Keep it up. This computer will then close all programs and switch the system unit off. You can, you can then switch the monitor off as well. Okay, so pag pinindot ka na yung shutdown button or your first button, this would mean na lahat ng mga applications na nakabukas sa computer mo ay mag-automatic shutdown. Mawawala. Because, syempre, mag-close na siya. Automatically, close na lang din lahat ng mga nakabukas na apps. Okay? So, kapag namatay nila ng computer, of course, you can also choose to turn off the monitor. Okay? Para for example, yung mga kapatid kayo na manunit, no? Tapos, sinubukan nilang buksan yung computer by themselves. Hindi nila mabubuksan kasi hindi nila alam kung paano buksan yung monitor. Okay? Yes, Finn? That's, that's the shutting down, ver that's shutting down version of Windows 10. That's right. That's correct. That's for Windows 10. Okay, so finally, after turning off the CPU or after shutting down the computer and turning off your monitor, you should turn off also your ADR. Okay, para hindi mo siya naman bigla yung computer yung kapag sinaksak mo siya ulit, tapos um, binuksan nyo yung ADR. Okay, so may separate switch yan na kailangan nyo rin turn off, switch off kapag papatayin mo siya. Okay? So you should do that in order to take good care of our computer. Okay? So to sum it all, before we can use the computer dapat, we must learn how to operate it properly. Doing this, the right way will keep the computer working properly. That's why we should always follow the steps in switching on and switching off the computer. Okay? Are there any questions or clarifications regarding our discussion? Parang bang question? Yes, Rocky? It's English. Come on, sorry? It's English time is already 9.49. Yeah, it's 9.50 pa yung anin. That's why I'm already asking. There are about questions, clarifications regarding our discussion. That's the first time. And that would be all for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening and actively participating. Goodbye and thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.